If I had to describe Scarlett's personality in one word, it would be independent. She'll check in with mom every once in a while, but she's totally fine hanging out, doing her own thing without Edith. Hi, Scarlett. Come on out. Let's go with mom. Edie's raised an independent girl. Edie was showing us signs that labor was imminent. It all happened very quickly. In a span of 20 minutes from start to finish, Scarlett made her debut to the world. And seeing Scarlett come into the world and make that first tiny little vocal, uh, it melted everyone's hearts, and, and that's a moment that I'll cherish forever. The first time I saw Scarlett, it was just one of those things that you, you can't really put it into words a lot of the time because it's just this just wave of emotion that comes over you. For me to, to see Edith's first pup and for, for our first pup here at Georgia as well, was, it was just an amazing experience. As Scarlett progressed, the natural thing for Scarlett would be to have access to water. And contrary to popular belief, when a sea lion's first born, they're not perfect swimmers, particularly when your front flippers are so much bigger than your body. So the very first time we had Scarlett through the water, she went right in. I don't think she realized that the edge of the pool ended and the water began. Edie was right there underneath her to support her, but it was definitely a moment that our entire training staff, we held our breaths and then we all started laughing because it was so cute. So today's moving day with Scarlett, we're finally getting to bring her up and to meet all the other sea lions. And the best way to describe is that it's, it's a whole new world for her. Good girl, come on in. Scarlett, you wanna go with her or no? You gotta kinda move though. Would you like to go with mom? You can go with mom. Beautiful. Good job, you two. Are you announcing to everyone that you've arrived? Come on, let's go. Come on, Scarlett. Good job, everyone. Big steps, you got it. Good job. All right, pool, let her see the pool. Wee! Good job, Scar Scar. That was awesome. Good job for them. So proud. She's growing so fast. She's already so much bigger than she was two months ago. One. Fifty. Perfect. She's fine. It's your daughter. Don't worry. She's just. We need to get her weight. Forty-two. You plump little meatball. Forty-two. She's a heavyweight. A little heavyweight. Yay, everyone's putting weight on. Can get in the pool. Scarlett's been a, a rock star. She's, um, she's adapted so well. Morning. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, there's a little munchkin. Is she gonna come with us? Come on, come on, Scarlett. Here you go. In the big pool, come on. She's, she's fearless, just like her mother. She's amazing, she's, she, she takes everything in her stride and she's, she's shown this real keen ability to just adapt to her scenario. Good job. We find that Katie, who is also one of our uh, dominant females, we find her to be a very good role model, not only for Scarlett, but also as for a surrogate mother almost. It's a tough job for mum, and to have that help, have that type of auntie, we were trying to find that, that, um, that animal we actually have that could do that, uh, and Katie fills that role. Every time I walk by, I can't help myself. I have to see if she's interested in seeing what I'm doing. She typically comes running over and 
Uh, it's a few Ooh. moments where I forget everything else and it's just Scarlett and I and that's you, Lion. She Ooh. makes me laugh Ow. so hard. She's so cute, uh, she's so inquisitive and I just love being around her. And I just can't wait until, until I guess get the chance to come in to see her because everybody's just going to love her. She's amazing. They're going to love her.